Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I painted this bluebird in acrylic. So first I wanna say sorry, I forgot to record the background. Uh, I will be covering uh, backgrounds at a later video. And then what I did was I let my background dry and then I outlined my subject using watercolor pencil. So first I'm gonna start by blocking in my branch. I'm using my Burn Umber with unbleached titanium and a little bit of yellow ochre. Uh, obviously the lighter I go, the more I lean towards my unbleached titanium and then the darker I wanna go, the more I lean towards my umber. Um, there I am using my unbleached titanium. Uh, Starting to put a little bit of the shading, not worrying too much about finishing it right now because my first goal uh, when I start a new painting, when I start blocking my subject in, it's just that, it's blocking. Now I'm switching over to the leaves. Um, that's a mixture of my anthraquinone blue with Hansa yellow medium. And since those two colors are very transparent, I add a little bit of titanium white and then that helps me improve coverage and makes it a little more opaque. So this is my first video tutorial on YouTube. I'm excited and a little bit scared, but I've been wanting to do this for about a year now, and I finally decided to just stop talking about it or thinking about it and go for it. I normally paint a lot. I paint at least once a week, so it's really not that much of a task. I just have to remember to press record every time I paint now. So now we're starting to block in the bird. For the darks, I'm using a mixture of my umber and my blue. And then the blue parts are gonna be just my blue with a lot of white and a little bit of burned umber to gray it down a little bit. Um, the underside of my bird is going to be yellow ochre with my umber and a bleached titanium and a little bit of Hansa yellow. My reference photo is from Pixabay. I'll leave a link below in the description. So now I'm coming in with a lighter green, starting to block in some of my stems for the flowers in the foreground and adding some highlight to the leaves. Now I'm adjusting some of the colors in the background, adding more detail to some of the leaves, blending with my finger, I don't know if you could tell. And now I'm starting to block in some of the flowers that are gonna be in the foreground. Now I'm starting to add some texture to the branch and fixing some of the branch that I didn't like from before, making it a little bit thicker throwing in some shading, some shadows. Now I'm getting into the flowers, a mixture of my magenta and my alizarin crimson. I'm using that for the core of the flowers and then I'm coming in with titanium white to create the petals around it.
And I'm trying to keep my leaves and my flowers loose because I want the focus of the composition to be my bird. Uh, the bird is going to have the most detail in this whole painting. Everything else is going to be a little bit looser and less refined. Now I'm working on some of the circles of the bokeh background, blending with my finger, refining some of the flowers, refining some of the leaves. And I felt that bottom corner was a little bit too light, so I'm adding a little darker green and blending uh, with my fingers, smoothing it out so that it's still out of focus. Now I'm starting to work again on the bird defining the edges a little bit more and starting with the contour of the feathers, making sure that I watch my reference photo and that all my strokes are in the direction, general direction of the feathers. I'm not trying to paint every single feather. And now I'm starting to work on the bird's feet, feet, um, or talons, I guess. I don't know. Um, I guess that's a good question. What do you call a bird's feet? Let me know in the comments if you know. Another pass on the bird. Now I'm working on really defining that outer edge. Working on the beak a little bit. Making sure that all my strokes follow the general pattern of those feathers that I see in my reference photo. And then at some point I'm gonna start adding, there we go, uh, the shadows underneath the wings and underneath the bird itself the shadows underneath the talons or feet. And pretty much from here on until the end, it's just me fussing with it, uh, working on an area and then looking, standing back and looking at the whole thing to see if it looks good, uh, adjusting details here and there, mainly on the bird. If you want to follow me on social media, I'll post links to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook in the description. Also, prints of this painting and some of my other original work is available for sale through Fine Art America. The link is going to be in the description below. And if you were wondering, the music in the background is me improvising on the piano. And there we go, that's the finished piece. I had a blast with this one, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on my video. I'm gonna have new content every Thursday. Thank you so much for watching, my name is David Cavalin, and I'll see you guys next time.